Hey girlfriends, it's Jazz and I'm here with the top five tips for the perfect perm rod set. Now, first thing you wanna make sure you do is wash and deep condition with moisture rich products. So I've used Rich and Funky Moisturizing Cleanser and Heal and Renew Intensive Hair Mask. You wanna make sure that you're implementing the most amount of moisture to begin with. So you don't wanna start styling your hair with dry hair. And then next up for the styler, I'm gonna be using Good Hair. Now, Good Hair is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. It detangles, it provides moisture, it handles frizz for you, and it also leaves your hair with amazing shine. I like to start off with the back of my head, completely saturating my hair with your leave-in conditioner. This will cut down on time, which you don't want to spend all day applying product to each section for the perm rods. I will be using Curly Magic, which is my favorite styler. It's going to be perfect for this style, giving you great definition and shine. Now this is the most important part of the entire hairstyle, wrapping your hair around the perm rod. Make sure your hair is completely smooth, and as you're keeping track, to make sure you take your time and wrap in a circular motion, smoothing your ends with the product. Now, closing of the perm rod. If you close away from the root of your hair, it will be loose. And if you come across where your hair is coming from the root, your perm rod will stay in place. So I decided to do smaller sections. It's totally up to you. You don't have to use small sections. I use about 53 perm rods altogether. Now, once you get to the top of your head, your hair is most likely starting to dry. Simply re-wet your hair. Do not apply more product because the water will simply just reactivate the products that are already there. So I'm gonna give you another close-up of how I wrap my hair around the perm rod. Now, another important part of the perm rod is the ends. Make sure your ends are nice and smooth because they're gonna need to smooth around on top of each other at the end of the perm rod. So slowly wrap around, making sure to keep your hair smooth. And then once you get to the ends, you're gonna wrap the ends of your hair on top of the ends of the hair that are already there before that last rotation, if that makes sense. It's easier to get your hair to stick to each other that already have product versus a perm rod that's dry, if that makes sense. So I'm all done here. I sat underneath the dryer for about an hour and then I slept overnight, which is only about five hours this night. But it, just make sure you give yourself enough time so that your hair is completely dry. As you see, as I'm taking these out, I'm a little nervous making sure that my hair is dry. So that is the number one rule for any perm rod set, any style. Make sure your hair is completely dry. Give yourself enough time. If you know your hair is hard on drying, sit underneath the dryer for two hours and then sleep overnight, whatever you need to do. So as you can see, these curls came out perfectly. When you take your time and you have the right products, you set yourself up for success, there's no reason not to have a perfect perm rod set. Now the amount of bounce and body I received with using a heavier leave-in and a gel is amazing to me. So this is one of my favorite combos as far as two products together. You don't have that residue feeling, you don't have like the crunch. So when I separate my hair, I love to, I have to pull it apart and kind of separate where it separates naturally. This is another top rule for not ruining a head full of beautiful curls. So I tug on it slightly and then separate it where it kind of separates naturally. I'll show you this again here. Tug and then especially with the bigger sections, it's a lot easier to do. But what you don't want to do is create any unnecessary frizz when you set yourself up with great products that prevent frizz. So I like to take my time. So you see, I do have a lot more volume just by slowly, lightly separating the style and you still have great definition without separating your hair to the complete max. Because for me, I like to let my styles grow naturally and get bigger and fuller. You'll have all that, but there's no need to do that on day one hair when you set your hair all this time, sat underneath the dryer, hours of drying. So just do less on the first day. But with any style, I always say make it your own. So if you still want bigger than life hair, by all means, go for it. But if you follow these steps to the T and you use great products like Uncle Funky's Daughter, you will be left with moisturized, shiny, defined curls every time. And it's not gonna be easy. I know I make it look easy, but practice makes perfect. So just follow these steps and you'll have great success every time. You can do it.